Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Siren, season number two, episode episode number two, The Wolf at the Door, the episode directed by Amanda Rawl. And in this episode here, we have been still struggling with the whole Siren song in his head. And so now he's going to AA meetings to try to help him cope with this with the problem that he's having. It's an addiction. He wants to hear the song again, but the song is messing him up. He, he can't deal with it. And plus, he wants he wants to be with Maddie, but he can't do that because she's she's so not so happy about that. But she but she and so he's trying to fix himself and, and trying to free himself of this song the only way he, he knows how. But the messed up part is Maddie's mother sees this and she's thinking that her, her daughter is dating an addict. Because she's an addict, and she said, oh crap, my daughter's so messed up that she, now she's falling in love with the addict too. Oh, we got to end this. And she thinks she's saving her daughter, but all she's doing is interfering with something she has nothing that she knows nothing about. Nothing about. Nothing. Nothing. Then you have the sheriff, and, and um, trying to be there for his wife. Now she's back in his life now. But at the same time, he's also keeping her in the dark too. And she doesn't know what's going on. She's confused by everything. She doesn't know there's, there's mermaids going on. There's mermaid situation. And so there's a lot of the, the, so Maddie's not telling her everything. He's not telling her everything. And she's just, what is happening? What is going on? And people say, you just stay here. Everything, everything's good. Just, just stay there. Hey, read a magazine or something. We'll be back. back. Read, everything's good. And I say, what? <clears throat> then you have Xander. He's sleeping with the girl now, even though she's some secret agent spying on him. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm sick, so <coughs> bear with me. And the messed up part is, she slept with him. Wow. I mean, I know she wouldn't get information. I know, she, I know she's using him, but that's messed up. I mean, well, sort of. I mean, it's fun for him, sort of. It's... it's I mean, she, 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 really, she wanted to go all the way just to get information. Wow. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know who's benefiting from this. Or is, is it a benefit or not? I'm not so sure. I mean, he got to be with a pretty, a pretty beautiful girl, so yay. But at the same time, she's using them to get information about the mermaids. So, oh, so, yeah, oh, I don't know how to feel about this. It's, it's, either way, it's messed up. It's messed up. It's messed up either way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you have um, <clears throat> Calvin. He's trying to use the mermaids to get to get famous and get rich by selling the pictures to 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 a, to a reporter, but the thing is though he doesn't have enough evidence to do anything, so all he makes him look, does look, make him look stupid, like like oh, like another local who who loves mermaids so much, because the whole town like pretty much worship mermaids. Only the problem is they don't know mermaids actually, actually are alive, they actually are alive and real. They don't know that, only a certain people know, and, and, and keeping it a secret. And then you have Helen, and she needs more money for the cause of the mermaids that are back in her life. She got, she got, she got to take care of them. She got to buy them food, make sure they, make sure they get clothes, IDs, all stuff like that too. So she needs a lot of money. <coughs> Excuse me. She needs a lot of money, so she goes to her bank, Ted, to get some. They have their arrangement. <coughs> she asks for money. She gives it to her. She, 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 she keeps her mouth shut. But his wife, Elena. Elaine says, no, no, I don't like this. I don't like you. And why do you need all this money for? And he, and he pretty much, and then you got Helen son of her, like I told your husband, none of your business. And if you don't like it, you can just roll your behind out of here. There's the door. Peace out, chick. I'm spending the cash. Wapow! And she, she, she pretty much smacked her with the money and walked out. I mean, that didn't, <laughs> so that's messed up. Like, Wow. Wow. And if that's not enough, you got the whole drama going on between Ren <coughs> and the other mermaid. I, th I think they're going to be calling her Katrina. Now, Katrina used to be the leader, but Ren beat her up, and now Ren's in charge. So now everybody shows Ren respect, bows down to her, listens to everything she says. But Katrina, on the other hand, says, no, I'm not doing that. I'm still in charge here, and she's pretty much trying to do everything she possibly can to pretty much Show, show the, show the, show the, um, the, the team or the pack, whatever they, whatever they call themselves, the pod, that no, she's weak. I'm in charge. Listen to me. 
And that causes a lot of conflicts there, which is not good for nobody. Because, see, the Ren understands what's going on. I mean, she doesn't know everything. She still has a whole lot she needs to know herself. But she knows more than this girl does. She's been on the land longer. So she understands a little bit more. And she said, hey, listen to me. These people are here to help us. Quit paying the pain in the butt. And she went into pretty much... And you got Katrina, who's willing to kill a wolf to prove that, that, that she's in charge, she's the leader, she's the strongest, so listen to her. Oh, that's going to be some problems. Because even worse, you got um, Ren's niece is sick because she's been out in the water so long. And, it, and so, and, she, and, she, and, she, and she started, she started to, to sway and listen to, listen to somebody else too. And I thought, that's, that's not good. Not good at all. Not good. Uh, <clears throat> So, overall, we got a whole lot of things happening. Nothing but he changed just yet. Because they can't go back in the water because the, the people are still drilling, so it's throwing everything out of whack. You got um, the sheriff not being the sheriff anymore, but still trying to protect the people from the mermaids, <coughs> even though they don't know what's going on. And because of that, that's the only reason why he doesn't have a job. Because he... he, he Without that, without telling them about the mermaids, which might make him seem like he's a crazy person, he, he can't he can't tell them fully what's, what happened and what, what went down, and so it looks like he's incompetent. So that's just bad. It's just bad, just bad altogether. <clears throat> and then the and then the more messed up, I mean, even more problem. Xander finds out that the mermaid, the merman who killed his father, is also with them. Is also with the group. Which is going to start even more problems. So, yay! Oh, no. No. And, and remember I told you before about Brandon trying to cure himself of the siren song that's in his head? Well, then you have Ren in between both of them. Come, bring them together. Like, that, that, like they're all three of them are a couple. I just, I just, it's not, that's confusing. And, and, then the, and then you have Maddie kind of flirting with Ren, too. Like, what are you doing? I don't... I, what? What? I thought, I thought, I thought they were gonna make out in that car. I thought they were gonna make out for a second. Cause the thing is though, Ren touched Maddie, and then Maddie touched Ren, and she gave her a look like she's about to start making out. Other than what? no, 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 no. You just got you, you just got you guys got mad at Ben for this situation, and now you're doing it too. What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <sighs> Are they, are they become a, a throuple or something? That's all that's going to happen? Oh, it looks like it's going that direction. It's just, it's just like, I, I don't know if Ren understands what she's, because the thing is though, she's, the thing is though, she, she's affect, she's the affectionate person. And she's seen how, Ren, how um, <clears throat> Ben and Maddie associate with one another because they were a couple. So she sees that as a way of showing love and affection to one another. I thought that I thought human beings do it. So she does that. She does. She does, so she she saw them do it. So she just says because she likes Ben and she likes Maddie. So the source, therefore, I do that to them too. Makes perfect sense. But it means something different because they actually are a couple, and it was some, it was sexual thump behind that too. So her doing it is confusing. So yeah. Ugh. Overall, I'm enjoying the show. It's crazy, messed up. Watching all these mer, these new mer people on land trying to adjust. It's very interesting, fun to watch as well. Oh, the whole so so mysterious situation with the, with, the, with the woman who's going with Xander. Messed up. Now we got this, this, this reporter there too. What, what he's going to find out why he's there? I don't know. And if he does find out about, about, um, about mermaids and sirens, what is he going to do? It's not going to be good. It's not. Or is he going to die? That could happen too. But overall, another great episode. So leave your comments down below. Let me know you thought of this episode of Sirens. If you have Sirens. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a bit of a like, hit the thumbs up, shut up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it like I always say in my dreams in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.